All right, howdy. We don't need to start our examples with anything really difficult. Let's just say we have an insulating cube and it's got some charge on it. In this case, uh, 10 microcoulombs. And we want to figure out why, if it has a plus 10 microcoulomb charge, um, how many of these electrons it has lost. So if it has more protons than electrons, then it has a positive charge. So what we care about is the change in the number of electrons. So we might do a little bit of a pre-analysis here. All right, and so we want to find the total charge. And for a macroscopic object, the number of, or this sort of electron deficiency is what gives it its charge. So this difference between these two um, things, the number of protons in the nuclei, nuclei of the atoms in this material and the number of electrons that orbit those atoms. And then we multiply that by E. That little E is the elementary charge. Right? E is equal to 1.609 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. And so that's equal to the quantity we want, which is this delta N times E, right? So make this subtraction and we get the chain difference in the two um, kinds of objects in the material. So we want to figure out how many of these um, missing, how many of these atoms are missing electrons, basically. All right. So how would we do that? Well, we've done the pre-analysis here. The next thing we need to do is an algebraic analysis. We need to basically plug in the numbers, right? So we're saying Q is equal to delta N times E, right? Uh, Q we're saying is 10 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs. And delta N is what we want, right? And E we said was 1.609 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Okay, that means we want to figure out what the N is, right? So what that delta N is going to be equal to the 10 times 10 to the minus 6, which is 10 to the minus 5 um, coulombs over that 1.609 9 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. So those coulombs cancel out. And we just have 1 over 1.609 um, times 10 to the 19 minus 10 to the 5. So that's 10 to the 14th, so we actually have less than 10 to the 14th of those things. It's something like 6.215 maybe times 10 to the 13th um, electrons. So that's a whole lot of electrons, right? E minus, E to the, E with the superscript minus, oops, is that the edge of my, no, that isn't the edge of my screen, I don't know why it's not doing that. E with a little minus sign up there is a way to write electron. If you did it like this, you put a little positive sign there, that's called a positron. Maybe talked a little bit about that in the lecture, about all those positrons and the positron emission tomography. Um, so... I don't know, it's been a long time since I did this, to be honest. So that's a whole lot of electrons. That's basically all I really care about is saying if you have even a microcoulomb of charge, you're looking at 10 to the 12th electrons. So let's see, 10 to the 3rd is 1,000, 10 to the 6th is a million, 10 to the 
ninth is a billion, so this is six trillion electrons. So 10 microcoulombs, or this is 62 trillion of micro electrons. So one microcoulomb is about, oh, the national debt worth of electrons. So if each electron was worth a dollar, that's how much debt we owe, or something like that. Or no, no, that's just our deficit, right? No, no that's just our budget, which is actually pretty close to our debt right now. So, yeah, yeah. Small charge, lots of money. I know.